all right now here we go let's look at option e e says only ews defender supports more than just ews hence uh, incorrect we'll move to option b and 2 together if you look at option b and c both contain alibaba cloud and alibaba cloud is not supported in defender for cloud right so b and c are definitely out if we uh, look at option d now only aws and gcp so defender for cloud currently supports aws and gcp integrations allowing organizations to bring these cloud environments under defender's security framework that being said this looks good if we confirm in the official documentation it's mentioned security standards define rules and compliance condition and actions if conditions aren't met defender for cloud assesses resources and workloads against the security standards in your azure subscription aws accounts and gcp projects that being said option d only aws and gcp are the correct answers okay so this is a quite easy question because we have covered similar question in past so this is a quite a refresher we look at first option a a says microsoft defender for cloud defender for cloud secures azure workloads but doesn't support external attack surface mapping or vulnerability scanning for internet facing assets wrong choice we'll move to b b says microsoft defender external attack surface management microsoft defender external attack surface man management known as defender esm enables mapping of esns which is this host names ip address and ssl certificates making it the right right choice for external attack surface analysis we'll keep it we'll move to c c says microsoft defender for identity microsoft defender for identity detects identity based threats but it lacks network and asset discovery capabilities for external attack surface monitoring incorrect let's move to d d says microsoft defender for endpoint Microsoft Defender for Endpoint protects devices but it doesn't provide external vulnerability scanning or attack surface mapping. Let's delete it. If you look at the official documentation, it's mentioned Defender ESM discovery includes the following kinds of assets: domains, IP address, host email, autonomous system numbers known as ASN, who is organizations. So that's what is required. Let's log B as the right choice. all right e let's tackle a question this is a classic question so um i'll give you the tip later on but for now let's focus on this we'll look at first option e this is azure cosmos db explorer azure cosmos db explorer is designed for managing cosmos db data but it doesn't support assessing azure storage analytics um therefore uh prompt choice will move to b b says sql query editor in azure sql query editor in azure works with sql databases but azure storage analytics logs are stored in blob or table storage not sql databases so wrong choice we'll move to c c says easy copy easy copy is a dedicated tool for transferring and retrieving azure storage data making it the appropriate choice for fetching archived diagnostic logs from storage account we'll keep it we'll move to d d says file explorer in, in windows file explorer in windows cannot access azure storage analytics logs because they reside in a storage account and require a specialized tool for retrieval therefore incorrect so here's a quick tip so if you uh, encounter this type of situation there can be two answers easy copy and azure storage account yeah azure storage explorer right so for now since easy copy is present in the uh, option this is the right choice all right e here we go let's first look at option e it is classic cloud connector the classic cloud connector is an old implementation that doesn't support the native integration model making it unsuitable for this scenario incorrect We'll move to B. B says Azure Monitor Agent. 
Azure Monitor region focuses on performance and telemetry collection but does not deploy the Defender for Servers agent on AWS EC2 instances. Let's delete it. Then move to C. C says Log Analytics agent. Log Analytics agent gathers security logs but it doesn't perform automatic agent installation for Defender for servers on AWS workloads. Wrong choice. Move to D. This is native cloud connector. The native cloud connector integrates AWS with Defender for cloud, enabling automated deployment of the Microsoft Defender for servers agent on new AWS EC2 instances. That being said, option D is the right choice. Let's bring the heat to the snow. We got to choose a solution with uh, keeping in mind which will incur least administrative effort. We'll first look at option A. This is apply a built-in compliance standard. Defender for Cloud provides a built-in compliance standard for AWS foundational security best practices, making it the best choice with minimal administrative effort. We will park this. We'll uh, move to option B. B says define a new custom standard. Creating a custom standard requires manual configuration, increasing administrative effort. Incorrect. We'll move to C. C says enable a built-in assessment. Built-in assessment evaluates security risk but do not enforce compliance standards for AWS um, 4. So therefore, uh, incorrect. Let's move to D. D says develop a new custom assessment. A custom assessment requires additional manual effort which contradicts the goal of minimizing administrative effort. So anytime custom is like just think just like we have limited b option b as well custom is like uh, there is a yeah, there is already a wheel invented like and now uh, we uh, try to uh, set up our own factory where a wheel uh, is getting uh, like uh, we are manufacturing wheels right so custom assessment is a kind of headache and it will increase administrative effort therefore custom assessment won't qualify b and d won't qualify in any way let's remove it and lock option a as the right choice all right now here we go with a question you might be already knowing the answer because two or three questions back i have given you a hint whenever you see or um, face this type of uh, question what to do we'll look at option a he says microsoft 365 defender portal microsoft 365 defender portal monitors security threats but doesn't provide access to azure storage analytics logs stored in storage account incorrect we'll move to b b says sql query editor in azure sql query editor in azure is for querying sql databases but azure storage analytics logs is stored in blobs or table storage not sql databases so b is wrong we'll move to c c says azure monitor azure monitor collects and visualizes matrix uh, but uh, doesn't provide retrieval of azure storage analytics logs from storage account incorrect choice we'll move to d that is the only option left that is azure storage explorer azure storage explorer allows users to assess and manage storage account data making it the best option for retrieving azure storage analytics logs that being said option d is the right choice okay so let's now test our concepts on deprecated technologies and infrastructure nearing expiration what should we use let's look at option e it says securing the cloud securing the cloud focuses on cloud security improvements not identifying outdated or expiring infrastructure incorrect we'll move to b b says sensitive services sensitive services assesses high risk assets but doesn't provide visibility into deprecated technologies or infrastructure nearing expiration incorrect we'll move to b we'll move to c c says attack surface priorities attack surface priorities highlights deprecated technologies and uh, infrastructure which are near expiration making it uh, the correct choice let's keep it we'll move to d d says attack surface composition attack surface composition provides a structural view of external assets but does not offer insights into technology lifecycle or expiration so d is wrong 
if you look at the official documentation for attack surface priorities it's mentioned these priorities can include critical cve known association to compromised infrastructure use of deprecated technology infrastructure best practice violations or compliance issues so that being said option c is the right choice if you want the pdf version including the key keyword tricks please enroll in diamond membership or above by clicking the join button now also please consider checking out my exclusive management cyber security google cloud courses on udemy by searching cloud guru amit or you can navigate to the url udemy.com slash user slash cloud guru amit where you will find tons of courses which will help you to boost your career by understanding the requirements of your manager their thought processes and how a project works in an it world so thank you so much for watching this video